Tonight, the Braves have a big test in front of them in Lenore Ryan, a team they beat a year ago, but the leader for the Bears is their rushing attack. Nelson Brown, the second leading rusher in the sack, has had three 200-plus yard games in his career for Lenore Ryan. He would love another one tonight against the Braves. They're going to try to stop it with Tyler Hinton. Tyler Hinton is one sack away from tying the Braves' career sacks record. That's held by his running backs coach, Devontae Bush. Two teams that can certainly really sling it out there, but right now all the talk is about the UNC Pembroke defense and what they were able to do a week ago. The Braves, they were pretty phenomenal, Bryant, on the road at Elizabeth City State. Grace B. Johnson Stadium is certainly his stadium. He has had a lot of success here. This week on Instagram, he changed it to his Patrick O'Brien Stadium, and I think the UNC Pembroke guys didn't like that all too much. Right, lots of green grass for Miles. Grant dances outside, keeps his feet. Maybe has one more block from Span. Still up, he's in for six. Miles Grant, the 40-yard touchdown run, and the Braves surge back in front. Braves looking to get some serious yards back. Instead, they try to turn to the ground. Leak bounces off a tackler, works it outside towards the boundary, shoved out of bounds. Jojo Leak on a nice carry. Chris Page finally forcing him to hand off with Miles Grant. He's got a little room, dancing through the center of the line, up towards midfield, still spinning for the big first down carry. And again, they blow up the pocket, the throw tipped high in the air, and it's picked off by the Braves. Running it down for UNC Pembroke, and on the return is Trayvon Gibson, and he's pulled out of bounds. Fourth quarter, ready to start off. It's been three runs on the drive for Lenore Ryan, a total of 27 yards to get it started. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to sweep with Huff outside. This time, the Braves have it snuffed out. There's continuing to drive Huff back. He stays off tackle, a monster block laid back down. So the Braves were trying to chase with Jordan Howard, but he was just tossed to the turf, a huge backside block. Bottom line though, a loss of yards on the play. <laughs> yeah, the, the block is the one that gets the attention, of course, but uh, the loss on the play is really the only thing that matters. It's good to see that the Braves have, well, although it was just one run, it's good to see that the Braves recognized it and were able to stop it before it could even get started. Second down and 18 from the 27 yard line. Snap back, Keller pressured and he's taken down. The sack for the Braves causing problems in the backfield was Michael Clark. Yeah, and the quarterback Keller for the uh, Bears was trying to do a throwback, it looked like, but the receiver he was trying to throw to was double covered in the end zone. Well, the Braves, good coverage downfield. The officials calling the legal man downfield. The Braves will very understandably decline that. Third down at 25, and these two sides have been playing behind the sticks almost the entire second half. Yeah, there are not a lot of plays in the playbook for third and 25. Of course not. And see, the thing behind the sticks, we're not talking about third and 15, th uh, second and 12. We are talking about second and third and over 20. That's terrible. Three wide, two back in the shotgun set. Braves trying to force maybe at the worst a field goal. Alpha Lamine gets a hand up, met right away. The Braves have Michael Clark knocking down Jordan Brooks, and he has only the short gain. It's a couple big back-to-back -back plays by Michael Clark, and it's decision time for Lenore Ryan. He already had a 54-yard field goal earlier. Slight breeze to go into. And from deep in UNCP territory right now, the quarterback coming back out for Lenore Ryan. You have to think pooch kick in this spot at fourth and 23. That's, that's the only thing that makes sense at this point. Because, well, I, I would go for the field goal. And from the 32, Keller's going to try to throw. He wants to unload down towards the end zone, and the Braves able to break up the pass. It was intended for Jordan Brooks. Down the center seam, and the pass breakup for UNC Pembroke credited to James Martin. Pretty good work there by the young defensive back, and a, a head scratcher for Lenore Ryan. They tried fourth and 23, and that's going to be tough to convert every time. It, it, it really is, and... Uh, honestly, head scratcher is right. I don't know why that, why their coach would go for that on fourth and 23. But at the end of the day, the way that this offense, the Braves' offense, has been moving the ball, which is not very well in the second half, 
I guess you figure, why not? Says a lot about the trust that Lenore Ryan has in its defense, which has not wavered since the trick play back in the first quarter. Hand off to Miles Grant, outside left. He's touched by one flags fly. Grant's down behind the line of scrimmage. The first to get to him was Anthony Brown. We'll sort it out, see what the flag is. Grant's adjusting his face mask again, asking for that penalty. He's pointing to, receive, er, to referees on both sides and the defensive line coach, Brian Hill, for Lenore Ryan. He was dancing the YMCA earlier, but he's not happy right now. It was against the defensive face mask penalty called against Anthony Brown, who was the first to get to Miles Grant. You saw Grant, the shifty move. All of a sudden, the hand goes up. Boom, it's in the groove. Yeah, and sometimes face masks are not usually on purpose. It can be caused by uh, a shifty move or just being blocked, and you just want to grab whatever you can on the ball carrier. Lobs it near side to Sampson to E.J. Williams. Room for the first down and more before he's brought down by Kyle Duggar. There's that second team all sack member and the clean open field tackle. He's had the force fumble as well. Duggar's had a good day on this defense. He has, and you know, it's, it's nothing but expected really. You honestly won't see any high praise or anything significant because this is what he is expected to do. Braves bottled up. Miles Grant just whipped to the turf at the 45. Loss of three yards, blown up in the backfield. Lenore Ryan continues to cause trouble on that offensive line. Yeah, Sherrod Williams was just in the backfield before Sampson even had a chance to give the ball up. 15 drives in this game have ended in punts, and we've had 24 drives. We've also had one on downs and three turnovers. Not a lot offensively. Over to the Braves target, Jalen Nixon. It goes near the 40. Short game back, gets it inside of third and 10, but still a big play upcoming at third and eight for the Braves. At the 40, Illinois Ryan, how early in the fourth quarter do you start getting worried if you're Shane Richardson and the Braves about trimming this three-point deficit? Well, it all depends, really. If the Braves keep having possessions like this where they've been able to drive a little bit, then you're not too worried. Now definitely not worried. Lots of green grass for Miles Grant. Dances outside, keeps his feet. Maybe has one more block from Span. Still up. He's in for six. Miles Grant, the 40-yard touchdown run, and the Braves surge back in front.